Hey guys, this is Dinosaur Drawer, and today I'm gonna to be drawing a a request from Andrew and Gwil, which is um, a feather Tyrannosaurus. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna be trying to do my best, and we will see what the outcome will be. All right, so first we're gonna uh, use a reference from the Jurassic uh, Jurassic Park Ty Tyrannosaurus actually, and we are gonna put some feathers on it. So, uh, yeah, let's start. First, we want to know how long the dinosaur actually is. And, um, well, we have to pay attention to how long his tail is going to be. So, with most dinosaurs, the tail is about as long as his whole body plus his head. So, for example, if we want to draw the body of the dinosaur we have to start over here so his tail still has the chance to be on the paper so yeah we, I'm gonna put on some lines so from his hip his hip is supposed to be exactly in the middle of the whole paper so um, that's about over here so over here is going to be his hip so that's where his tail is going to start from. Well, maybe the T-Rex has a very big head, so maybe a little bit farther back. So this is the place where the tail is going to start. So we have to pay attention that we uh, the body stops over here and the neck is about over there. Over there, actually. So, all right. Um, I'm first going to be drawing his hip. So his hip has a rounded shape like this. And actually his, his whole leg is actually kind of attached to it. It's just like, well, it's best by starting to draw a circle over here. I think because that's where his hip will be and his leg will be attached to this circle and stuff because the T-Rex has a very a very uh, has very big muscles so yeah let's draw in this circle and that's where his hip is so that means that his belly is over here so let's draw a circle for his belly kind of an oval oval like kind of shape and then his neck will be over here kinda and then um, yeah this will be the place for his arms and stuff so this is the place where his shoulder will start and then we make A very big curved line for his back. This is going to be his back. This is going to be his hip. And his tail will be attached over here. So let's first draw in his tail. So his tail is about, yeah, about the same length as the body but with the T-Rex he has a very big head so um, to make it uh, look larger on the paper I will give it a little bit um, shorter tail so that the rest of his body will be bigger so yeah you go you go down with a curved line like this and right before the tail ends we get you, uh, we get a curved line up and then down. It goes, the tail goes, goes down over there. Alright, so this is where his leg will come from. And his leg will be about over there. So 
so yeah then his tail will start about over here all right then you want to pay attention to his uh his leg we're just gonna draw one leg and one uh one uh arm on each well actually not on each side just one on on this side and the other leg and arm are exactly behind these two so all right and then this body is going down a bit over here it goes like this And then his knee will be about over over here so this is the part where huge knee where his leg will be able to twist the other side of his leg and now what I usually do is draw some uh, lines to indicate the bones but personally I think it's better to just connect the upper side of his leg like this and then you know exactly where to put the rest of his leg and it goes like this a huge calf muscle Oh, I'm not sure how to how it's called actually, but all right. And now we are at his ankle, and he's got a very big rounded ankle over there. And we go down, almost straight down. And now we want to draw his foot. To do that, you just put in a curved line over here. And when you are almost about horizontal, you want to make a nil. But don't draw in the nil yet, just draw in the basic lines. So yeah, his nail will be over there. And then about over here you're gonna draw the second toe nail which is a little bit smaller than the first and then you connect it to this line and then you wanna do something like that alright and later on you can put on toenails and stuff but first we wanna um, we just we're just doing the sketch and later on we're gonna do the full drawing and stuff we, we will go over the lines that we need and erase the lines that we don't need all right um, yeah so right now we want to draw his little arms and they might be little arms but He's, he's sure got a lot of muscle on it. So just do the same as what I did with this one. Put in these kind of lines. Maybe a little bit more back actually. And then we put in those lines. So his elbow is going to be over there. Then you want to draw his hand and his nail and you just draw in his nail and his hand and stuff but don't draw in the other hand the other uh, finger yet. We can do something like this and that indicates that it is behind this one. And later on we're gonna put in uh, a nail and stuff. 
All right. So now we've got the basic lines of the body down on the paper. And now we have to uh, put in his his neck and stuff. And this part isn't going to be very easy because his neck is about as long as his, his head and his head supposed to fit in here and then his neck will be about this long but it also goes up so I'm first going to draw a line about for um, to indicate how high I want his neck to be and I want his head to be kind of connected to this and then we can still hopefully we can still draw in the head <laughs> all right so first I'm gonna draw a line like this and then just go straight to where the head is supposed to attach to it And with this one we do exactly the same, but we make something like a curve over here. So like I said, hopefully it will fit on the paper. And actually... I believe that my T-Rex is a little bit too um, too slender, <laughs> so I'm. I just want to correct myself in it a little bit to make it a little bit less slender-like. All right, I'm gonna erase his arm, because his arm is a little bit too far up, and this line too. I think that's much better, alright, and then his elbow, or I mean his shoulder is about over there, so that means that his hand, his arm will be over here. like that and do exactly the same as what I just did with the previous arm and exactly the same as what I did with the previous nail right I'm trying to do it a little bit too fast over here Alright, I shouldn't rush. Like that. And like that. Alright, I hope you can clearly see it, yeah, so again, I want to focus on his hat and his neck, I'll, I'll make it a little bit thicker, it was a little bit too slender. So this is about in the center between these lines. Now you want to draw something like this. And again you want to kind of make it just as long as 
most of the neck. Maybe I'll make it a little bit longer. I think this is about long enough. Now I'm gonna make some richy lines. I mean, some scaly lines. Or I don't know how how you can call those. Something like bony snout, and then over here, I'm gonna make his eyebrow, his eye ridge. Like that. Maybe a little bit bigger actually. And about over here we want to make something like this. Let's erase this a little bit so we can refine those lines a little bit more. Just like that. And now we want to make an indication for about where is this bony thing will end about over there. And his nose will be about over here. Alright, then we can draw in the holes in his hat, in his skull. One over here. One over here. And one over here. And this one is slightly going this way. And then his skull will slightly go that way. Alright, now we've got the bottom half of his skull. Now, we want to draw in. The bottom half of um, his jaw. And we are just going to be drawing a straight line down and then something like that. Over here we're going slightly down, slightly up again. I think it's supposed to be a little bit longer. Right. Okay. 
and there we have most of Tyrannosaurus Rex. Alright, and now I'm going in with uh, the mechanical pencil to do uh, the details like the eye and stuff. So the eye is supposed to be over here. And then we can draw in some bony skills and stuff and maybe make this a little bit thinner it looks a little bit better in my opinion make the nose a little bit better visible and then put in his ear over there some lines And maybe put in some some teeth, which are slightly angled. So yeah, when the T-Rex teeth go like, um, they start very small, and then they they get bigger and bigger until you are about. Um, about over here and from here on they only get smaller and smaller until you are over here so yeah pay attention to that so this is going to be the longest and then it only gets smaller and actually this one can be a slightly bit bigger too Yeah, and then do uh, almost about the same over here, but over here they only reach about this long, goes like this. Then you just erase that line. I actually went a little bit too far because over here it's going to be this thing. <laughs> Alright, so now we've got uh, our basic T-Rex and now we can put in the nails and stuff. And we can't really see this nail so maybe only that part. So just put in the nails. I 
something like a food padding over here. Well, actually, I think my hat is way too small, but I don't think it would fit on the paper if I made it any bigger. It, actually, it is actually supposed to look kind of a bit like this. And as you can see, the head is a lot smaller in size. But yeah, we'll try to do our best here. And uh, don't put in too many lines yet. But this is the basic drawing of the T-Rex, his body, and now we're going to put in the details, but I'll do that in the second part. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in the second part. Goodbye.